Hey folks, it's Rick. This is uh, this is my Duesenberg guitar, and on it, um, it didn't come this way. I put this on. It's a Duesenberg Les Trem Two. It's a, it's a nice piece of equipment. It's really solid and heavy duty, and if you listen, it's a really smooth. I mean, it doesn't always stay in tune. I don't think any of them do. Something that the Duesenberg company really got right is this thing. It's pretty cool. There it is. Here's the view of it. Ah, here we go. I just checked online. You can get these from a company called Solo Guitars. After shipping to my house, this is $132 for one of those. So I was like, okay. I was looking around on the evil company and I found this seemingly just like a Duesenberg Les Trim for half the price free shipping came in about a week so I'm gonna open it looks like it's already been opened which kind of worries me but let's see what happens I open it this is a Geiger G U Y K E R. It's a Geiger tremolo. It's got it's got these dudes, and hopefully, you don't have to use them. You just attach it to the thing that you already have. It's got some small wrenches and a big wrench. My guess is to cover all the holes in this thing. It's not that heavy. I don't know about this spring though. This looks pretty heavy duty. Looks kind of scary. Here's the bar. Bar is nice. Ooh, I read about this. That this unscrews and it can be annoying. I have put some Loctite in there or something. I'm unscrewing it now. Yeah. So this was less expensive. This was $65 and free shipping. So what guitar are you going to put this on, Rick? I think that I'm going to put it on the Yamaha Repstar. Because he could take it back off, you know? I could put it on whatever I want. I could put it on my Les Paul. I could put it on my Ibanez AR30. Anything else I could put it on? Well, I could put it on the Samick. I wanted. Okay, we're going to tighten this guy down. And I think if I read the reviews correctly, see, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> you guys do Everything else looks cool. All right, we're going to try it on the Rev Star. All right. So I was successful. I was able to install the Geiger Tunematic style electric guitar bridge stop bar tailpiece tremolo compatible with LP SG Guitars TM85 Chrome. So it must be called the TM85. Well, the TM85 is, is pretty good. This piece here can move back and forth this way. So you have to loosen things up and tighten it down appropriately once it's set. I was worried that this would be too stiff of a spring. It might still be. I might still get another um, a Reverend spring for this one because they're nice and loose. You can turn this bar. If you loosen the edge, the outside here, you can turn the bar so that maybe you can have it up a little higher as far as its angle to the strings. So if you turn it this way, that lifts it up pretty high. It's almost too high for me. I don't like it perfectly parallel with the strings. So you gotta find the right, find the right height. Boom. Tighten it down. Now I've got it sticking back quite a bit because you can adjust it this way too so that you have less of the bar sticking out or you can have it come out further. I'm gonna try it like this for a little bit. But uh, it works really actually very well. 
and it's really spongy. It does a little flutter, not as much as the less trim. Uh, like I said, I'd like to put another piece of felt under it. Um, it was I didn't film it because it was really just changing the strings and switching the tailpiece. These screws fit right into my existing threaded holes. One thing is that this doesn't tighten that much, but I don't think it does on the less trim either. So it could be a little bit loose, but it's really actually kind of nice. It sits right where you need it. So I, I kept waiting for there to be a problem. At first I thought it was going to be too decked so you couldn't pull up on it at all. Once you get the strings in place, they actually pull it back a hair. And why that's important, it's not that I go pulling up on my tremolo, but sometimes if you go out of tune from the tremolo use, it's easy to go back in tune just by pulling back a little bit. What I'm saying is sometimes you just knock yourself back into tune. The only misgivings I have is if, did they steal this design from Duesenberg? That wouldn't be nice. This is, this is actually a really nice tailpiece. It does exactly what it says it's supposed to do. Simple to install. Cost half as much as the less trim. I'd say this is good. All right, folks. They didn't pay me at all. I bought this myself. I just want to let people know how things work or don't work. And uh, this works. And um, I now, I really like my Revstar even more. There you go. Peace.